So now we can go back and I'll show you the minutes. Now this one I already have pretty much set up um, except for the signs to show you the difference. Um, this one is daytime once again and it's game time again but this time we put minute instead of hour because we want the minute values. And then over here we have the D clock which is also game time and again for now we don't have to put it for the minutes you don't have ever have to put anything on there um, the third line only applies to the hours so now let me explain a little bit of difference here you specify whether it's going to be game time or, ser or server time which is earth time in the arguments but the number of inputs determines whether it's an hours chip or a minutes chip. Hours take five inputs, minutes take six. And then over here, the seg, both of these seg drivers are the same as the minutes or the the ones for the hours. They're just plain old seg drivers. No need for a blanking pin on these ones because they're always displaying something. Okay, and then these, yes, these are already transmitting. So, you can come over here. You can see. Right now, it's not doing anything. It's because I have a receiver on here, but I don't have the transmitter doing the transmission. Now, for this, you really want to have um, this same clock controlling both daytime circuits. Again, it's a, it's a synchronizing effect. Go ahead and activate that, and then we can come over here, and you'll see that's going. Now the minutes in game update on every every pulse, because it goes that fast. And you can come over here, and you can see they're all changing over there. So let's go back to the game, the big clock, and you'll see, right now, wait for my server to update, it is 11, after 11 o'clock, it is almost midnight. So that's the basic setup, um, now I will go back and show you 24 hour, which is only a little different, or only two differences. This can stay the same. We don't have to change that. This can also stay the same. We don't need to change that. We only need to change the hours. Come over here to the D clock and put the sign on again. Only this time, game time, we put TF hour on the third line. And that enables 24 hour mode. <coughs> That's, for, that's actually the only change that needs to be made to the whole circuit. We go back, you'll see it's just past midnight, and on the clock, if it'll just update here, hmm, that should not be 23, that should be zero. I wonder why that's behind. Anyway, um, yeah, game time is really weird. I don't know why Notch did it that way. Don't ask me. I'm just doing it, doing the best I can off of that. So, switch over to time day. Okay, so interestingly, the 24 hour is a little bit different from the 12 hour. I'll have to go back and fix that. But you can see between those two, the difference right there. Now it's 18 instead of it would have been seven. Yeah, that's off. Um, so anyway, now the, the only other thing to have a look at is Earth time. We can go into here and you change this to D clock and Earth time. <coughs> and we can come over here and we need to change the daytime to daytime, Earth time, hour. 
Okay, activate that, activate that, and then we come over here and change the daytime circuit over here. Yeah, I hate it when it does that. Um, daytime, Earth time, minute. And activate it. And really, the uh, minutes don't need to be changed. There's really no reason for that argument to be there. Um, just to let you know. It's not really necessary to change that. So we can go back to the clock. And you'll see now it should be something like 20. Oh, that's not good. Oh, stupid internet. Hold on. Okay, and we're back. Um, <coughs> now, that's actually just an hour ahead of my current time. Um, whereas it should be probably 21 server time, so you can see there's a difference. And changing it to daytime doesn't do a thing. So there you go. Um, this came about simply because I was experimenting. Um, wanted to have a little fun, figure out how to do this. I tried figuring it out without making a chip, and it was a little bit more complicated. Not too much, apparently, but enough for me to want to try to simplify it. So, um, have fun. If you have any questions, let me know on my bu on the bucket forum thread. And uh, that's it.